guys, as requested, today I'll be showing you how to install TWRP on your Xperia Z3 that has CyanogenMod 12 on it, as you can see, I do have it on here now, and we're going to get started like right into it. So before we start, we need to download a couple things. You want to make sure that you have your Android tools uh, all in here, these four files, so ADB, DLLs, and Fastboot, EXE, and then we also need to download our FOTA recovery, which is what we're going to use as... There's only one other recovery here that, well sorry, custom kernel for CyanogenMod 12, but I don't think it has a custom recovery built into it. So we're going to be using this FOTA recovery for TWRP, or that is TWRP, that is made for the Z3, has been recompiled a bit, so it is working with our like, partitions and all that. So we're going to go ahead and download this from this XDA developer link, I'll leave down probably one of the first links there, and you probably also need the uh, flash tool. Sony fastboot drivers installed. That should also be in the more info down below. So right now we're gonna hit the download on the second post. This is the more updated version. And all you need to do is um, just click on that link. And you know, this guy can get some money and we'll just, after the five seconds, we'll click on continue or whatever it says. Ah, oh, skip this ad, right, okay. And then we should have Mega, hooray! So this is, this will take absolutely no time then. I know some of you people can't use Mega, like it gets stuck or whatever. But then, uh, just download this, version 3. Let's just go ahead and download it. This shouldn't take too long. So I can go ahead and talk more. Fantastic. So, this is when you're going to flash it afterwards. I'll show you how to do that. And then, later on, uh, hopefully, because my phone's still a bit dodgy, as you can see, it's just got sticky tape holding the battery, so it doesn't fall out. But hopefully I'll be getting the LG G3 quite soon, so you'll see some videos on that too. And of course more on the Z3, as it is kind of expendable afterwards. So once it has downloaded, you can see it's in this tiny corner here. I would recommend you to move it, so just go ahead and copy it into your Android folder where your five files are. I'll just zoom in here, and just paste it in into that folder. And we can close all our other folders. So right now we would have downloaded the image right here and we have our four Android files here. So what you want to do now is uh, hold shift and right click and open command window here. So this saves the time for changing directory. So you can pretty much have that Android folder anywhere you like. Um, yeah, so if it doesn't work, if you don't see that menu, try moving uh, your Android folder into another directory. I have mine on another hard drive, but I heard um, on C drive it works fine as well. So, right now, you want to leave that window open, and we need to get our device into the bootloader mode. So go ahead and turn off uh, the phone. Let's give it a few seconds. Alright, sweet. So, what you want to do now is hold power and volume. Sorry, no you don't. I'm thinking of another phone. So you want to, as you, well open up the USB port, and as you plug in the USB, just make sure you're holding volume up. Like that. So I'm going to hold volume up now and just plug in your USB cable. And you should see a blue LED pop up now, which is great. That's all we need. You can set your phone down and I'll zoom back in. So what you need to type now is fastboot. Oh, it's not focusing. Alright, here. Fastboot, flash, recovery. And then you want to drag in that image file that we had in the other window. So we're going to do the split view sort of thing and just drag that into our command window. Make sure there is a space between recovery and D there. And hit enter. And that should write us into recovery, great. So now I'll show you how to boot into that recovery. So you just want to unplug your phone. And this is, I haven't touched anything, it's pretty much a fresh install of CyanogenMod. And you want to go ahead and turn it on. And then as you can see, as soon as you see an LED where it is, hold volume up. That's why you need to hold volume up. Now, it's a bit dim because of the kernel that CyanogenMod uses. The uh, LED isn't that bright. So hopefully you should be able to see TWRP. It might take a while, but you can see how it has actually changed to orange and we are in TWRP. So that went pretty well. So that's it for this video, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it worked out for you guys. And so yeah, that's how you install TWRP. Um, on what 
in on signage mode, signage mode 12. And yeah, there, there are two ways to do this. This, like through fast boot on your computer, or you can actually do it through the terminal, through uh, blocks, like through uh, flashing blocks. But if you're not too comfortable on doing that, because if you type something wrong, it could go disastrously bad for you, I would recommend this fast boot method. It's much more, I guess, reliable in that you won't type in something wrong. So anyway, that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and leave a like if this worked out for you down below. And also leave a comment if uh, you have anything to say, or anything that you want to be in a video, especially for the Z3. I might do another DRM restore tutorial, since I have the Z3 back, instead of doing it on the original Z. So uh, things more specific to the Z3, I'll be happy to do. Um, that counts for anything. So if you need anything like that, let me know down below, and I'll get to work as soon as possible on that request. And also, if you have, need any help, um, feel free to email me or leave a comment down below as well. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.